Today we're taking down to the workshop and showing you how to replace the film on your resin 3D printer's resin vat. But before we do that, make sure you like and follow. So we're going to replace the film on this vat. This is for Mars 3. As you can see, it's gotten pretty pockmarked on here and some dry resin on there, but it started actually leaking and we actually got a little bit of resin on our uh, screen that we actually had to clean off. We're basically, the other thing we're gonna need is we're gonna use just a, any sort of thing to hold the screws because we're gonna re be replaced, taking a lot of screws out and replacing them to replace the film. We also have our film. Now there is a coating on the film. There's like a little layer on each side. So I don't know if you guys could see that, but we're gonna basically, when we're ready to replace it, we're gonna peel that off and we're gonna attach the film. But first thing first, let's get out all our screws and make sure you keep a little bin to keep all your screws in place so you don't misplace any of them. Um, this is our screen, our, our, this is the film. We're just gonna wipe it down a little with some alcohol because it does look like there's still a little bit of resin. We did let it dry, but it looks like the resin sort of like seeped through. So we're just gonna try to clean this off a little more before we start. And you can actually feel I don't know if you guys can hear that. You can actually feel how hard it is. So it's very chewed up. We've been printing a lot of stuff and uh, basically, you know, wore through this film. So we're gonna take our Allen keys. We're, we should need either two or three of these. These are the ones that actually came with the kit and we're gonna unscrew them. We're gonna start by taking out the four corner screws. This is, these are actually the screws that hold the vat in place on your printer. So there are four of these. Okay, next we're gonna take off this set. And this is actually, so these hold the vat. These are these big ones. They hold the vat in place on your um, printer. These actually hold the plate in place. So this is the next set of screws we're going to take off. And if you think about it, you're almost taking them off in a descending size. So biggest to smallest. And once we get these out, you'll see this plate is gonna come right out. So we finished the second series of screws and what we're gonna do is this, you'll see comes right out. So this is, you know, our vat and this is the plate. Now you see this went from really taut to really loose. Now, I don't know if you guys could see this, but this is pretty pockmarked. It's rough, you probably can't really see that, but it's rough to the touch. Um, once you pull out that second series of screws, what happens is this loosens up. It gets very taut when those other screws go back in. Now we're gonna remove these screws and that's gonna get the film out. And let's see, this is the right size. And we're going to our smallest one. So once again, descending order, and you're just gonna pull out all the screws. All the screws are out. And now basically we're gonna lift this up. As you see, this comes off. I'm just gonna put it over here for a second. Here is our film, our old film. As you can see, there's still some resin, some little a bit of resin residue that's all trapped in there. We're going to, this is why we're wearing gloves, because there is resin. Even if you wash this out with alcohol, sometimes there's always little bits of resin. As you can see, where we cut it the previous time, we uh, replace this. And then this is the other side of our plate. So basically they're gonna flip back over onto each other once we put the new film in. We're also gonna cut the film once we get it in. So, like I said, we're gonna peel off our two sides because there is, um, there is, here we go. It looks like this corner is a little loose. So we're gonna start, there is film. There's film on both sides. You need to remove it. It's just like a little protective layer. That's the first side. And there is film on the other side. Even though it doesn't look like it, there is. There we go. There we go, we got the second part. Okay. 
Now we're going to lay this on here. We're going to try to get some space. So we want space to be past all the screws. So you want to look at it and try to get it very much centered above the top bottom. And you want a little bit of space. I know it's hard to see, but you want a little space past the screws. So we're going to try to just line this up the best we can because the more space we give it, the more we're going to have to actually work with cutting it off as well as making sure it seals correctly. Now we see how loose this is. You can't really hear it, but you will. And we're basically going to flip this plate back on here. You're going to, what I like to do is actually use the smallest Allen key to actually help poke the holes. What you're going to do is you're going to start now with the smallest screw and go back to the biggest. So we have our smallest screw. That's the one we're going with first. So what I like to do is where your small screws go, you basically just push down. This is lined up. You got to make sure this is lined up and you just push down. You're going to hear a little, a little tiny pop. You guys may not be able to hear that on screen, but you will hear it when you're doing this. And then you're just basically driving your screw in. And we're just going to repeat this all along the frame. What I like to do is sort of start with my corners or almost my corners first, and that just gets it into play. So I'm going to basically hit all my corners up. Everything's screwed in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut off this excess film. So we like using really sharp scissors. These are um, a nice cobalt scissors we actually use all the time for things like this. They're really sharp and they're really good because they're small for cutting off the excess uh, film. Now you don't need to get right up to the edge, but you want it to be, you know, pretty clean. And you're just going to cut around. It's pretty easy. These, you know, this is pretty uh, easy to cut through. It's pretty thin film. Some people actually buy the film instead of buying the pre-cut sheets. They actually buy like rolls of it and use it depending on, you know, how much you're printing, you know, for some people it's, it's uh, worth it. Okay. Now that's cut away and you can see we're still a little loose, but it's getting taut and we're going to move on to our next set of screws, which are going to put it on the plate. So we're going to basically put this here. We can see it's still like a little loose, but it's getting tighter, right? It's getting tighter. So next, we're actually putting in um, the, the screws that hold it to the printer. I think I did say ascending order. I'm sorry about that, guys. I actually put these in first because they are the corner pieces. So we're just going to pop our hole. We're going to take this. We're going to put it in, and we're going to screw this down. I don't want to make it too tight at this point because I will have to get the other corner down. So boom, you heard it pop, just popping right through the film. I'm not trying to drive it all the way down into the socket, into the, yeah, the socket, I guess. And this is always the hardest part, getting the second corner in, okay? Because basically this, do you hear how taut that became? This is causing all the tension now. Now the film is spread out. And we're just going to drive these down and get it really taut. So you'll hear in a second. And this is not even with all the screws in here. This is just with two of them. You're going to hear how taut this got. And that's a good way to tell if your film is taut. Listen to the sound. So it almost sounds like a drum, right? You know, it gets really taut. It's the same sort of concept. So you're basically, um, you know, the, I think it's called the skin of the drum, right? The tauter gets the the sound changes quite differently. And now we're just going to drive this this corner in. Now we're going to start with our middle screws. Okay, last screw. So you got a lot of screws here, but it goes pretty quick. You're talking about usually roughly about 10 to 15 minutes, you know, depending on how quick you're going, how uh, comfortable you are, right? So the, 
the more you do this, the quicker it's gonna go. Here. Now we're gonna clean out, because we did get some smudging. It's probably some old resin that got on everything. We're gonna clean this out, and then we're gonna put it on our printer and test it. Now the vat is pretty much ready for our printer. That, the, now that the film on the vat has been replaced, we can just put it back on our printer and tighten it down. And we're ready to print. I hope you found this video useful on how to replace the film in your resin 3D printer resin vat. Make sure you like and follow for other great 3D printing videos.